So here we see N'Golo Kante, one of the key players in our squad, except he's playing for Chelsea. So yeah, I, 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 I kind of sold him. Um, on the plus side, I did get 50 million euros for him, plus 50% of whatever they sell him for next time. So if they sell him for 20 million in three years, I get an additional 10 million. I'm still not sure if this was a good idea. I really, 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 really hope it was a good idea. On the plus side, um, if I can find him, there we go. I signed Pierre Emile Heubeck from Bayern. No, no, from Dortmund, sorry, in real life he plays for Bayern. From Dortmund for 30 million pounds. So that's still a 20 million profit. Um... Yes, so there have been changes during this January transfer window. Let's see. Hang on, I can't sort. There we go. So yes, I... Yes, things have happened. I just need to get my things sorted here. I also signed Mario Herrera, a youth player from Argentina, and promptly loaned him out again because he couldn't get a work permit. Looks to be a very good defender in the future, if he can get a work permit. So currently he is at Augsburg on loan, signed from Arsenal de Sarandi in Argentina. I also signed Jonathan Ashton, young central defender recommended to me by my head of youth development. Uh, signed from MK Dons for 2.8 million. Um, he could have better tackling, but and he's a very he's very tall, so... I mean, I'd say worth the outlay. And then, of course, on the outs, the most important one, N'Golo Kante. I'm, I'm still in doubt as to how good an idea this will prove to be. Hopefully, Hoibia can make up to it. I mean, um, if I just compare the two. Generally, Hoibia is better technically. And mentally, Kante has advantages. Physically, Hoibia is generally better as well. They are, however, two rather different players. Hoibiag is more of a, a, mid, a playmaker type, whereas obviously Kante is like the box to box, box win, box winning, ball winning midfielder. Wow, Chelsea almost tripled his wages. I can understand he wanted to leave. Anyways, yes. Um, also, quick mention, I got a new face pack. See, now players like Ihanacho and, uh, Espinosa, they look a lot prettier than they did before. Just a quick side note, uh, not really that important. Um, as for important things, we we are still, well, almost topping the table. And uh, this match is quite luckily actually quite important. This was not planned, but we're playing Liverpool today. We currently are two points behind with a game in hand against Liverpool. So that's very, very nice. And if we win this, we go top of the table, only by a point. But um, that, that's still pretty nice. I mean, and we have a 10-point gap down to Arsenal in third. So, maybe a bit too early, but I, I'm saying we're going to get Champions League football next season. But um, if we just uh, take a look at fixtures since last time. What on earth did we play last time? Last time, that was the 5-3 against Bayern, right? Shit, I don't remember. I think it was. Yeah, it must have been. Correct me if I'm wrong. I really should have checked that before I started recording, but it's been a while. Anyways, Swansea, we win. Middlesbrough, we draw. Galatasaray, we destroyed. Arsenal, we lost. City, we won. Yeah, we won against City from a, a goal from Kante, of all people. Uh, Atletico, we lost. However, we did advance to the knockout stage. Actually, I think... We even finished first in our group, didn't we? Um, group stage. We are in group B. Yeah, we actually finished first. All the uh, all the teams finished on nine points. That's uh, that doesn't happen often. But yeah, so uh, that happened. Uh, we're facing Monaco later on. I might actually live com that game because that's after the youth intake day. I might live com the home game. Uh, where did I get to? Lost to Arsenal, yeah, beat Newcastle, drew to Everton, beat Chelsea, beat Norwich, beat West Ham, beat Southampton, beat Crawley, beat Stoke, lost to Bournemouth, of all people, beat Hull, and lost to... Oh wow, we actually lost the last two games. 
so yeah, hopefully we can turn that around at home against Liverpool in quite an important game. Uh, as you can see, Ihanacho has been keeping up the form and been doing very, very well. He was, he actually, he is injured right now. He was also injured a little earlier with a, a back strain where he was out four weeks. So that wasn't too good. But um, he scored 19 goals in 20 games, 7 assists in the Premier League, average rating 8.13. That's insane for a 21-year-old. I mean, I'm really happy about that. Hopefully I can keep him for a long time to come. Uh, yeah, I don't really think there's anything I want to go over as such. I think I've covered everything I, I wanted to, which was really mainly the fact that Kante is no longer with us. So that'll be interesting. Well, let's see who's. I'll just go over a few things here. Who's been the best performers on average so far? Ihanacho by quite a bit. Fuchs, Morris. Yeah. Speaking of Morris, I'm still I'm still debating how much it would take for me to sell him. Because I mean, on one hand, I if I got the same amount of money as I did for Kante, so fifty million plus fifty percent of whatever's next. I would probably sell him. The only thing that I'm a bit upset about about the Conte transfer is that it is to a league rival. I don't know if I would do the same with Morris, especially if it was. To, I mean, I sold Vardy to Arsenal. If that's a few seasons ago now, but yeah, Vardy to Arsenal, Conte to Chelsea, and Morris is. I wouldn't say all we have left, but of, of that batch, he is all we have left, and he's been doing very well since forever. So, um, yeah. I really want to keep him, because he's very, very good. But we do have Espinosa waiting in the sidelines. Unfortunately, he does seem to be very injury-prone. He seems to be injured all the time. Let's see, since I signed him, he has damaged knee cartilage, a sprained ankle, and fractured ribs. All, I wouldn't say long injuries, but not just your niggles. Um... He kind of looks like Lewandowski now, with the new picture. Anyway, so that's not important. Um, so yeah, let's get on with it, shall we? Oh yeah, Fuchs was injured for a while, so Jamie Shepard actually got a few, quite a few games. Um, he's done alright, to be fair. 16-year-old, not amazingly good at all, actually. But did, did fairly well, I mean. Okay, he's got an average of 6.8, so that's not amazing, but... He wasn't noticeably shit, let's put it that way. Um, anyways, shall we just move on to the Liverpool game? We're, we're, we have a 12 o'clock kickoff. If we win, we're going top. If we don't, we're staying second. Let's see, what does my... Ah, uh, hang on. There we go. Yes, I'm going experience in net, Kasper Michael. I've actually been playing Murray, uh in the league quite a bit recently. It's been doing alright. But for this game, I'm going with the experience in the shape of Kasper Michael. Um, yeah, so Trippier on the right wing, Jedvash and Jorge, is that who I want to go with? It probably is, actually. But do I want to play Cabral? I want to play Cabral. Come on. I, I just want it sorted by that. It can't be that hard, really. So Cabral's playing, and Fuchs is playing. Mares. See, this is actually where I had the dilemma. Because, as said, I saw Kante, but Hoibia is not the same kind of player. I mean, Hoibia is more of a central midfield type. I'm actually training him as a central midfielder. Maybe I should change that. I mean, because... Clearly his... Okay, why is it not sorting properly? That's annoying. I will fix that for the next episode. That's annoying. Because he's really good, obviously. He's strong, he's physically good, and he has decent defensive stats. But he just has so much more potential with if he takes an offensive-minded approach to things. And I'm still not sure what I want to do with him. But for now, I'm going to set it up like that. I'm playing Bolton and Hoibia. Will I regret that? Maybe. Again, I removed experience in the shape of, I forgot who I took off, Andy King. Who's, again, been playing very well, but... yeah. Anyways, All Brighton on the left. Imbolo is a deep line forward. And Kramer... Mm, you know what? Fuck it. Tom Stab, you are now the advanced forward. I'm to se se yeah, I don't think I've talked much about this guy, because um, he's had a few appearances. Hasn't scored much, and his rating isn't the best, but when I've watched, when I've seen the games, he hasn't 
been terrible. I mean, he, he seems to have a lot of potential. The young Tom Stab also has a great name, and I kind of want to give him the playtime. I don't think Cramridge has been doing very well. No, no, I, I'm I'm playing Cramridge in in that advanced forward wall. It's happening. Uh, yeah, because Ihan Nacho is out injured because with um what was it, a bruised head. Basically, he has a bad headache. So I'm thinking he's a bit of a pussy, but never mind that. I think that's uh, about it. I can't really change much on the bench because most of them are suspended or injured. Um, so yeah, let's do this. The teams are warming up. I, I haven't actually checked Liverpool team in advance. I wonder what kind of players they have, if they've signed anyone major. Because if they have, maybe I should be shivering somewhat more than I am. I still have Klein as their key man. So Yeah, okay, so the pundits think Liverpool will win because I'm missing both Daniel Amati and Kelechi Ihanacho. Uh Anyways, let's see. They signed Carlos Baca. They have Coutinho and Firmino, and they've signed Douglas Costa. They have Fred, I believe, from Shakhtar. Is, he that? is that Fred? It is that Fred. And they have Jordan Henderson and Alberto Moreno and Sacco and Matip. They signed him in real life as well, that's funny. Uh, and it's frozen as usual. Great. And Klein, and they still have Mignolet. They signed, um, what's that dude called from Mines? Carius, I think, in real life. They signed him now. And my team, we would have what went through it. Cramridge, Mbolo, Albrighton, Bolton, Hoybia, Mares, Fuchs, Cabral, Jedvash, and Trippier, and of course, Michael in goal. So, uh, yeah, let's go for it. Mmm, fine, fine. Let's go, come on. Get us into first place in the league, that would be nice. I mean, winning the title in the third season with Leicester, I mean, that's. I'd be satisfied with that. I don't think it's going to happen. I'm going to be blunt, I don't think we're going to win the title, but it would be cool if we did. It would be really cool if we did. Anyways, not much has happened in this game so far 10 minutes in, except Jordan Henderson just got booked, but um, never mind that. And Coutinho gets called offside, so far the stats are saying that we kind of have the game. I suppose. But not much has really happened, we're 25 minutes in, no highlights except from kickoff. Boring. Okay, we have a corner. Albright and whips it in. Cabral? No. Okay. So, Mbolo has it on the wing now. Can he do something with it? And into Hoybia. Who? And Albright and gets it on the... Albright and Cramridge? No. Hoybia. Mares. Mares. Yes! 1-0. Go, Mares. I believe that was Hoybia with the assist. So, um... Maybe he will be useful after all. Well, I say after all, but... I mean, he should be useful for 30 million euros, are you crazy? Anyways, uh, Sako hits it away, Hoibia puts it off to Mares, who... Yeah, he just slots it in past Minulay. Half an... or almost half an hour in, and we're 1-0 up. Keep this up, and we will have the lead in the Premier League. Okay, so Kramerich gets called offside. And Baka. Albright... come on, we're getting a lot of offsides in this game. Boring. Okay, and we're almost reaching half time, and we've had a total of one highlight, which we, look, I mean, we scored in it, so I'm not complaining, but it's quite a boring game. Anyways, um, do I want to sub anyone off? I'd, I mean, we've been playing pretty well. I'm not going to sub anyone off. I think I'm just going to continue exactly the way we left off. Or, well, hopefully the way we left off, at least. So, no. So maybe we actually have a highlight from the beginning now, but no, we don't. Anyway, so... 10 minutes in, and we're still in the situation of no highlights at all. I mean, I suppose if we finish the game now with no highlights, we'd win. Okay, so now we have another corner. That went well last time. Can we do it again? And Baka is on the run. against Two, two against one. Come on, don't let them score now. And it's off to continue. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, nice, nice tackle. Who was that? Number two. That's Trippier? I haven't memorized my player's shirt numbers. I'm sorry. Albrighton. Yes, and... Cr okay. Sort of all right, I suppose. Fuchs, Bolton. Kramerich. Come on, do something with it. Show us what you can do. And... Oh! Whoa, nice cross. 2-0 goal from Mares. And that's his brace. Can we get a hat-trick? A hat-trick would be nice. 
Rib Morris, I suppose he gets the head but what a cross from Fuchs. But I'm thinking that's shitty goalkeeping from Minule. He should probably have caught that. Let's see. Uh, yeah, he should. Yeah, that's absolutely horrible from Minule, but um, pretty true to life, I suppose. Sorry, any Liverpool fans, but you're probably going to agree with me anyways. Anyway, so that's 2 0. They're making substitutions. Let's get some fresh legs on. Morris. He's getting kind of tired. Do I want to sub him off? No, I'm going to keep him on. And Bolo is getting subbed off. Um, there, is it still making sense? Yeah, it's still making sense. So Kramovic gets the deep line forward, and Tom Stab is the advanced forward. He has the pace for it, so I'm going to give him that. Um, do I want to do any, any other subs? No, I'm, 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 that's all I'm going to do for now. And hopefully we can still, we can see this out. Okay, so young Tom Stab is coming on to replace Braille and Bolo. Still a funny name, Braille. Still not entirely so sure how to say it, but never mind. Okay, do we get a booking now? No, we don't. We only get a warning. Okay, so Balotelli free kick. And Shit! I actually thought that went in. Good lord. Good save from Schmeichler, but I, uh, that honestly looked like that had actually crossed the line. But luckily, it apparently didn't. So, that's good for us. Cabral gets a booking. I'm going to sub him off. I don't want to risk. So, Jorge coming on. I mean, I kind of took him off earlier because uh, of the experience that Cabral brought, but he still managed to be the only person to get booked. So maybe it wasn't such a wise decision after all. I'm also going to sub off Morris now. He's getting tired again. I don't want to risk an injury to my best player. Uh, I mean, okay, so I, I'm. I think this is this is done and dusted now. We won this game and we're going top of the league. That would be very nice. Very eventless game. Come on, don't don't let them score. Okay. Stab. What was that? Come on, don't don't back off the ball like that. That that's not how you play football. Gray Bolton. Stab has it. Come on, and out to Cramridge. Nice pass. Kramerich, and Albrighton has it, can we make it free, is it free, and Demarai Gray makes it free, well done, I mean, th that's quite a display of power, the only team who is rivaling us in points and we're beating them 3-0, it is at home, but still, this is a very very good display, let's take a look at that in 3D, Kramerich, and it's out to Albrighton, who takes it, and, again, Sketchy goalkeeping from Minule, but I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm winning 3 0. So, uh, yeah. Very nice display. I am definitely happy with this. And I mean, they can't win anymore. That th th This game's over now, essentially. Henderson and I are basically just playing it around right now. They know, they, they know this game is over. So, Henderson. Come on, they're just playing it in triangles right now. To be fair, they did just uh, Ibe, nice breakthrough from Ibe and Balotelli, and yeah, okay, they make it 3-1. Shame, I could have I could have used that clean sheet, that would have been nice. But Balotelli put them in the back of the net. That's just how things go, I suppose. I mean, a very nice passing play and nicer burst of pace from Ibe and the board frame. That's actually a very nice goal, but I could have been without it. Not that it's going to affect the outcome of the match. I want to say much, but at all, really. Uh, yeah, so now I'm just wait. What? Dude, come on. Oh, anyways, it's full time. Game over. We win 3-0. No, sorry, 3-1 now. So, yeah, uh, very good games from, well, all round, really. Especially Mares, nine point ending on a 9.2. So, yeah. We are now top of the league, leading by one point with a five advantage in goal difference. I mean, we could win this. And I'm going to call it now, we're going to win or finish second. I'm not anticipating Arsenal to catch up to this. They're being rather sketchy in form. But yeah, so um, blah de blah de blah That's about it for this game, I think. This game, yeah, well, also this game, but I, I wanted to say this episode. So, um, thank you for... Hey, let's just take a look at my transfer budget. 128 million. I could buy... I want to say anyone. I mean, let's just take a look. Who, who's the best player I can buy? Oh, yeah. 
I mean, is real realistic transfers is on. According to this, I could buy Courtois in gold if I want. I'm not going to, but if I wanted to, I could. And Romanogli, a very good Italian central defender. I could sign him. Well, Milan don't want to sell, but... I mean, a lot of good players I could sign. However, I always have a problem with spending... Uh, actually, that's a lie. I don't have a problem spending large sums of money, but I don't want to. I want to develop some of the players I actually have. I mean, just besides, where, where would I strengthen? I mean, we have talent in... Maybe we should get a young right back. We do have Shepard, I guess. A young right back. We have a lot of talent in central defense. Have great wingers. We have great defend defensive midfielders and central midfielders. We have maybe we should get a new right winger, um, or well, left winger, sorry. And up front we have amazing talent in the shape of Ihan Nacho and Boro, and for even further in the future we have Tom Stab as well, who could put according to my assistant manager's potential, he could outgrow both. In which case, I would be a very happy man. I don't even know. He was not home developed. He is from Brentford. But still, eight appearances so far this season for a 17 year old. That's, that's pretty good. How many of them are from the bench? Only one from the bench. And that was the game we just played. Nice. Anyways, um, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.